Last time on Sailing Melody, we cut out the temporary supports under the cockpit sole, we cut down the deck drains to the correct length, we fabricated a new support framework for the new aft end of the cockpit, we welded in place a new cockpit sole, we fabricated and welded in place new lower seat uprights, we fabricated and welded in place a framework for the port side aft cockpit seat, and we cut and welded in place a new seat top for the port side aft cockpit seat. And in this episode, we cut out the remainder of the old port side lazarette, we clean up the steel which we're going to be welding to, we fabricate a framework for the port side aft cockpit seat, we cut out a seat top for the port side aft cockpit seat, and we tack in place the seat top with the stick welder ready for seam welding when we've got some more welding gas. Well, as you saw, Melissa came round last night after work and we managed to get a bit more welding done, uh, welding the floor to the transom, the cockpit floor, the cockpit sole to the, to the transom itself. Um, this morning it's raining again. Melissa is not here. Uh, I've uh, erected a bit more of a substantial tent over the back end um, with these polythene tubes and that's working quite well. There's a couple of drips coming through but nothing to shout about. Um, so there you go and it's actually dry enough for me to walk out here in my socks. I'm not got dressed yet. Uh, so we've done that seat, we've done the floor at the back there and um, I'm still wondering whether to chop that out and put a transom door in you know. But well, we've got time to think about that. Um, and today I'm hoping to get that seat at least tacked in place if not fully welded. I don't think I can fully weld it in place without Melissa here for Firewatch but I can I can cut it, position it and tack it in place and uh, yeah, if the rain stops that is of course. Um, at the minute, as you can tell, no chance of doing anything like that but we'll see what happens. The, the rain is supposed to stop uh, in an hour or so. Okay, the rain stopped uh, so I can start chopping this out. Let's, uh, let's get cracking on with it. Um, On this side, I'm actually only going to put one extra frame under the seat, and I'll tell you why. The seat's going to sit on here, same as it does on the other side, and I'm going to put a frame somewhere around here. I want to leave access to that exhaust elbow so that I've got room to work around it. I don't want to be too close to it, because it'll be a pain in the bum. There were thoughts, incidentally, of carrying the, the sole of the cockpit across to make a, a full width uh, standing room for the, um, for the helmsman, but I don't want to move that exhaust uh, elbow and I want to have good access to it if there's ever a problem so back to what I was saying I'm going to put a frame about here because I want to be able to have a large lazarette here that I can get into to get to the steering to get to um, uh, you know basically just to get to have a good large lazarette this side um, so I don't want to frame this up too much the other side I've, I've put uh, frames just equally spaced um, so, uh, but this side, yeah, I'm going to have a lid in it and the lid will have some reinforcement to stop it flexing anyway. So I've put this uh, brace parallel with the other one just for symmetry's sake. Um, but this gives a wide enough area for me to get in and out, physically in and out of the lazarette when I need to get down in here. You just check that that's definitely all straight.
Yeah, that's fine. Um, and I'm going to be using the stick welder because, as you can tell, it's windy today um, and I've run out of gas. So uh, I've got the tiniest little bit of gas left, but not enough uh, to do much. So I'm just going to stick this in and, and then use up the rest of the gas, uh, putting the actual seat top on. I, I don't think there's going to be enough, but um, I'll pick up some more in a little while. Let me just get my mask. Place. I'm just going to tack it with the stick welder today because I'm out of gas. I want to MIG weld the whole way around. So I'm just going to put some tacks to hold it in place so that if somebody stands on it, it doesn't move. Uh, and I'll MIG weld it properly when I've got more gas. If I've got time today, I'd like to do these front panels, but I don't think I'm going to have time. When I've done this, I'll check what time it is, give Melissa a ring, uh, and see if I could, I've got time to, if I can stay out to play a bit longer. This is welded in substantially enough that if somebody stands on it, I'm going to try in a minute, but if somebody stands on it, it shouldn't break. Um, and I can clean those welds up next time when it's less windy and I can use the MIG and I've got more gas. Uh, I'm just going to check the time, uh, see if I've got time to stay and play. And if I have, then I'll put some fronts on these. And if I haven't, then I'm going to have to tidy up and go. Okay, so I've just had a chat with Melissa and it's time for me to go home. I can't stay out and play. I've, um, let me just, summary of achievements, that seat top is in, the framework's done, that seat top is in, the framework's done, there's enough gap there for a big lazarette lid, I've just tacked a piece of plate over that just to, so that nobody puts their foot down it, the floor's in, everything's rigid, and it's all, once that vibration will stop, once the seat front's on, and once the lid frame is in, um, so, uh, yeah, really, really happy, I'll just come out the wind. I don't know if that was really windy on the footage, but really, really happy with the progress of the last two days. That's literally, I think I was, that's only two days work and we've got the cockpit more or less rebuilt. I know it's not more or less rebuilt, but well, there's a, a lot of progress there. It's not gonna to take too long to, uh, to do the rest, I don't think. Um, just having the time and having the weather as we know anyway thank you very much for watching uh, as always hope you enjoyed the video um, amazing support from our patrons we just can't thank you enough it's fantastic and to those of you who donate through coffee and through paypal and through who send us stuff through at the amazon wish list or through our pro marine store wish list that's so generous of you and we really can't thank you enough uh, it just means the absolute world to us and we're just blown away every day that something arrives through the post or somebody gifts us something through patreon or 
or, or, or coffee or something like that. It absolutely amazes us every single time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and to those of you that, uh, that that subscribe to the channel, thank you to you also. Uh, you, you, you're the reason we do this um, and you're what makes this possible. Make sure you keep sharing the videos. If you can leave us a comment or a like, that's fantastic. And if you can share the video with people, it gets the word around. It really helps the channel. So thanks very much again, guys. I'm going on now. See you next time. Bye for now.